Hey folks, Dolph Van Dale here, and I am here to do a six albums in six minutes uh, contest entry for Jeff over at Mega Jeff's Rock Hard Vinyl. New new channel name, and I love it, and the new logo, I love it too. Uh, one of my favorite channels, I want to show him some support, I uh, should probably thank him for uh he when he does his videos and he talks about the deals he gets i've i've often uh dovetailed off that and gotten some really great deals myself uh we have we have uh, pretty similar backgrounds i think we're about the same age so i know he's a big partridge family fan i grew up with the partridge family had most of their discography when i was a little kid I think both of us made the jump from there to Kiss, and then, you know, I know in the early 80s, I then went to uh, Christian gospel music, and then mid-80s went to uh, Christian rock, or metal. And he's probably more metal than I am. I'm probably a little bit more all over the place, uh, but but we're similar enough to where, I, you know, like I said, he, he's one of my favorite channels. So I'm glad to finally get the time and energy to, to, to get this done. Wish it wasn't so late, but, you know, life happens. Um, so let's get started. He asked for, um, the first question was oldest, youngest. The approach I'm taking is the oldest recorded music I've got to the newest. The first one. The Complete Blind Willie Johnson. It's a two-disc set. Really nice set. Um, blues player. The uh, earliest uh, cuts on in this collection date back to December of 1927. And uh, you may think, well, who in the world's Blind Willie Johnson? Uh, think Led Zeppelin. Think uh, Nobody's Fault But Mine. That was originally a Blind Willie Johnson tune. Great blues player. Uh, I really recommend picking up something like this on him. Uh, good stuff. So the newest album that I have is this CD by Chevelle. I believe the title is spelled Neradius, but I don't know that. I haven't really heard it pronounced. A little bit different from for my taste, but um, I like to shake it up every once in a while. Uh, so I picked this up a week ago today that's the newest cd that or album that has come into my possession so that's chevelle next he asked for two albums from the same band their first album their last album had to be six years in between or no at least six studio albums this band's got it easy deliverance Christian Thrash Metal Band. This is their brilliant debut from 1989. This is a reissue, actually, on red vinyl. Great stuff. And their last album was this, Deliverance, the subversive kind, their 11th studio album. And it, too, it's on a lighter shade of red. But it's brilliant as well. I There's not too many. I, I don't think there are any albums from this band that I didn't enjoy. Deliverance, the subversive kind. His last question was to show two albums on opposite ends of the musical spectrum. So the first one I picked, I, he should know. I don't know if anybody else will know. But it's Michael Card. And this, is, this album is Scandalin. Um, this, yeah, well, Michael Card's a great songwriter and, and great theologian, very spiritually deep stuff, but his voice is very, uh, light and he uses a lot of light acoustical instruments like cello and things like that. And this is, this is very soft music, worshipful music 
On the other end of the spectrum, we have Vengeance, Human Sacrifice. This is their 1988 debut. Actually, it's a reissue of their debut that just came out. And uh, this is, it is on red vinyl. But uh, this, this definitely, uh, Christian thrash metal, definitely on the other end of the spectrum. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to get busy and get this entry in. Hope you're doing well. Peace. <laughs>